Hello there! Right, I think it's about time that I make another cat update video, since it's been some time since I made the last one. Okay, so just a quick recap. Over a month ago, my cat was run over by a car. We took him to the veterinarian. The bill was estimated to be over $9,000. We were screwed. I swallowed my pride, asked for help. We managed to raise $2,000. We had the rest, managed to pay the bill. Everything was uh, is fine and dandy, uh, but my cat's hind legs were destroyed. His pelvis was shattered. He has multiple fractures, and yes, so he's currently uh, recuperating, getting better by the day. So he has full mobility in one of his legs, and the other leg has some severe nerve damage. So it's going to take time, but we we know this is um, it's going to take time. Right now, it's been over a month. Still gonna be maybe two more months, if not more, for him to fully get uh, the ability to move his other leg. He can use it a little bit. He wants to scratch his ear, he can't really, you know, get there. He can wiggle the leg, but not really much more than that. Now, just now, like you know, ten minutes ago, I took my cat outside for the first time in over a month. Oh boy, was he happy. He was just running around and sniffing everything and eating some grass. Now, we also bought some cat grass to have inside just because, well, when cats clean themselves, they need, sometimes they need to puke. They need to throw up the hairballs, and grass helps a lot with that. So, yeah, dude, we have cat grass inside, and he also ate some grass outside. Now, he really wanted to play, as in he wanted me to use a stick or throw... Uh, um, like throw foliage in order for him to chase it, but nope, nope, it was just a little bit quick out and in. We was out for, I think, about an hour-ish, something like that. I had it, uh, him on the leash, so just, just to make sure that he didn't, you know, run away. He has, doesn't have the ability to run away, but, well, if if a dog or anything like that comes along, the adren adren adrenaline... Okay, let's let's try that again. The adrenaline kicks in, and cats don't really feel much pain and pain when they're afraid. So he could have just ran off. So yeah, he was on the leash. Everything went fine. He he was extremely happy. He went to the bathroom outside for the first time in over a month. So I think that was very good for him. Now, right now, he wants to go outside again, but he was starting to get very tired because he doesn't move around a lot. It was just you know for him to move a little bit about and smell the flowers, basically. Uh, but yeah, we managed to pay the bill. We got an additional bill from, I'm not sure if it was the veterinarian or the insurance company for like 400 bucks, but that was fine. We'd like, yeah, we're, we're not that much in the red right now. We're currently rebuilding our finances, continuing to sell stuff. Now, of course, uh, stuff stuff does happen. Listen, I'm not asking for more, more money, but uh, I'm, I'm just going to rant for a little bit. Like, first of all, first of all, I am extremely thankful for everyone who helped. I'm trying to make a thank you video, but it is not coming out the way that I want it to be. Uh, but yes, maybe back to financial struggles. Of course, after we paid the bill, it didn't take long until my wife's car started making some noises. And noises can be expensive. So, well, we took it to the mechanic. The mechanic said that we just needed to weld the exhaust uh, like in place that wasn't too bad like we uh, that's almost something that i could do uh but of course there were some more issues so they wanted uh, three thousand seven hundred dollars to fix everything and we were like nope nope not gonna happen so i think it yeah today my wife took the car to a uh, friend of ours and he fixed up the car for 30 bucks yes <laughs> uh so yeah he did uh, that was something. Now, I must say that you may have noticed that I'm now wearing a gold ring rather than the other ring. Now that is because, maybe it's because of the stress, but as you can see, this ring, I mean, it's a little bit tight, but hang on, it's down here. At least I thought it was here. Oh, right, there we go. Because these ones are my engagement rings. Now, okay, I think I've gotten fatter again, but these ones just go off and on, like nothing, so maybe it's because of the stress, maybe it's because we're a little bit, yeah, you know, better at not buying junk food, because junk food is very expensive, but yeah, I've started to lose a little bit of weight, also around the neck. I can now wear my necklace without, well, you know, destroying it, but barely, barely. 
Uh, but yeah, now I can finally wear my wedding ring. Uh, because of you, I'm just uh, passively losing weight. It's a little bit tight, but if things continue to develop like they do now, I will continue, continue to lose some weight. So that, that that's good. Yeah, it looks looks better, looks proper. Ah, uh, now when it comes to my YouTube channel, I currently now have what like 770 something subscribers. It's insane. It is uh, going a lot better now. I'm still applying for jobs. Then again, I have been applying for jobs regularly since. 2011 so we, we will see um i mean i'm probably going to make a separate video about that because it's very uh, very popular now to just complain about stuff like that but yeah i've applied for well over probably 80,000 jobs since 2011 <clears throat> now a lot of that was automated since i did take computer science in college I just developed a tiny little script that basically applied for every job that contained the word computer, basically. So, yeah, I mean, those numbers are inflated, but if it's it's hard to find a job right now, that it is. But we're we do, we're doing just just fine for some for some reason. I mean, obviously it is thanks to everyone who donated, but yeah, I'm I'm a little bit surprised that we're not more in the red right now. We have sold a lot of stuff, I mean, my wife is selling a lot of vases and cups and that kind of stuff, and I'm trying to sell a lot of uh, the gaming equipment that I have. Now, it's put us in the mindset that we don't really need everything that we have. I mean, I don't need a PlayStation 1, 2, 3, and 4. I didn't buy the fifth one because, well, there was a so shortage back, back then. But, yeah, I, I don't need those. I have a laptop. Works just as fine. Yes, so we're just selling stuff here and there. Uh, so it's, it's, it's going surprisingly well. I, I thought we would be more screwed. Now, then again, I live in a country where it is not the end of the world if you end up, you know, bankrupt and, well, basically poor. We're, like, we're not, we're not broke anymore, which I find strange. Like, it's, it's weird how my country works. Uh, but I am, I'm very thankful for everyone who donated and, of course, to live in this country. Like, I, in a dystopian world it would probably be best to have you know free health care for animals as well but <laughs> i mean i'm wishing for a lot right here that i am i do feel like uh, it, it felt like being an american to say the least when we got the um, veterinarian bill for the cat I'm not trying to diss america like i love I, like all of my entertainment comes from america 100 percent. but their health care could be better like, they have a lot of money, they could easily implement free healthcare. Then again, I mean, I'm not I'm not going to become political around here, but yeah, there, there is a waiting time. That, that it is. I don't think if I was hurt as bad as my cats that I would get treatment as fast. Maybe? Maybe. Who knows? Okay, well, rant aside. Now, my cat is doing a lot better. We are doing a lot better. My daughter has uh, almost began to walk, so that is that is interesting. Uh, my daughter has taken a big interest to the cat, so, I mean, right now we're keep, keeping them apart for the sake of my cat, like, he's, um, he should not be afraid in his own home, not yet at least, not until he's fully recovered, and he can use, you know, the front uh, or the cat door, so that he can escape my daughter when that time comes, and it will come, so, yes. Now, we're still sleeping on the floor, if you don't know, uh, our cat's favorite spot in the house is me and my wife's bed. So, we removed the bottom of the bed, so now we just sleep on a mattress on the floor. It is working. Our, our cat is getting a lot better. A lot better, actually, so, yeah, I don't know. we will see. I mean, there's still a question of whether or not he requires professional rehabilitation, but we will take that when it comes. We still need to take some more x-rays i think that is coming up in two months time i believe just to see and see how things goes because uh, well again he can use his one leg fully not a problem he can scratch his one ear and it's just odd one it's um, like he can move it he feels stuff in it he's not in pain but you know he, he, he can't really stretch it that way if you know what i mean maybe, maybe. uh but yeah i think that should do it for an update video Everything is going better. I am extremely happy. I'm grateful, eternally grateful, trying to make the thank you video. I made it twice already. First one was like 40 minutes. The second one is 50 minutes. And it feels like I'm just reading off every comment and everyone who donated. And it feels not genuine. 
if you hear it or not. Like, I have a hard time expressing gratitude. So, it will come someday, but I'm... I'm, I'm not happy with how it works right now. But anyhow, I think that I'm going to say, as always, until next time.